Hello everyone and welcome back to another Callie's Corner on Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and today we are taking a look at the game Wingspan designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and published by Stonemeyer Games. It's a game for one to five players, takes about an hour to play and is for ages 10 and up. First, I will explain just a little bit about the game, do a very brief overview of the components and main actions in the game, and then I will give my review and my thoughts on just why this game is so beloved by so many people and what kind of new trends can we see from future games because of Wingspan's popularity. Let's get started. In Wingspan, players are collecting different types of birds and placing them into the different habitats where they'll be able to use the special abilities of those birds then, then or later on in the game. And throughout the four rounds of the game, players will be collecting the birds, laying eggs, gathering food, and even more cards in order to score the most points at the end of the game. One of the outstanding elements of the wingspan is just the sheer amount of cards. There are over 170 unique bird cards and each of these is actually a unique real life species of bird which includes information about that bird and unique individual art. There are only four actions you can take in the game so I'll go through them very briefly. The first one is playing a bird card from your hand. You'll play the bird card into one of the available habitats that you can play it on, but you also have to feed that bird using the tokens from your own supply. The second action you can take is collecting food. In order to play your birds, you'll need to feed them. So you'll need some food tokens. Placing your action token here will allow you to collect food from the bird feeder based on what's available there. For the collecting food action and the rest of the available actions, you'll also activate any bird abilities of birds you already have in that specific habitat. The third action you can take is to lay eggs. And to do this, you'll place your action cube and based on the number of birds you have in that habitat, you'll be able to lay that number of eggs on your bird cards where eggs are available to be placed. These eggs will be points at the end of the game. The final action you can take is the draw cards action. And when placing your token here, you'll be able to draw the indicated number of cards, either from the displayed cards available or from the deck. And this will enable you to play more birds in your habitats on your next turn. The game takes place over four rounds, and at the end of each round, you'll have a chance to score some bonus points, but the majority of your points will come from the birds you have in your habitat, the eggs you've laid, the food that you've squirreled away, and any extra bird cards you've tucked under other birds. Predators eating them, <laughs> it's kind of fun. As we can see from the artwork and components, which are even better in person, Wingspan is a beautiful game. And what I wanna propose in this video is that Wingspan actually has some elements that are going to change the way we think about new gateway game. And while there is strategy, it's not anything super new or revolutionary on the mechanic side. It's a solid tableau building, engine building game but the overall experience of the game just seems to hit all the right notes for a wider audience. What do I mean by the overall experience of the game? It has to do with a lot of different pieces that just seem to fit together right for a lot of different people. So for instance, the components such as the eggs are just a fun color and really fun to hold and see. They're very appealing visually and, and just kind of spark something exciting. Throughout the game, you kind of get to explore this new world of birds and get to know them. You can tell that this game was made by someone who really knows their birds and really loves birds and wanted to show them and show that beauty 
through the mechanics of playing the games, how some of the mechanics are tied to specific attributes of that bird species or type of bird, which really comes through in the game and adds something that's a little unique. You have to really know your stuff in order to make those connections between the theme and the mechanics. As gamers, we not only get to strategize about the gameplay, but also explore this whole world of birds, and to some gamers that can be even more appealing than the actual gameplay. As I was playing this game with newer gamers, they got so excited whenever a new bird came out, just looking at the art, learning about the bird, recognizing if it was a local bird or not, and seeing how the birds and their actions interacted with one another. There was this overall feeling of discovery and deep engagement with the game as an experience, playing around the table with each other during game night, and it, it's those kind of experiences that create great memories of game night and great memories with your friends and family. It's not just about the game, it's about who you're playing the game with, what conversations you're having around the game, and those memories that you're making as you're playing games. So in that vein, I'd say Wingspan isn't for everyone. In fact, for a lot of gamers who consider themselves more hobby board gamers, for tableau building and engine building, there might be better games out there for that. But for games that you want to use as a gateway game to get more people engaged in games and, and want to play games with you, I think this game really does build that excitement and could be an interesting gateway into the world of board games. I think because of how Wingspan has hit all these right notes in creating experience of play and hitting now the top 20 in top 100 games on BoardGameGeek.com that we could see more gateway games that have this higher level of production quality and have this higher level of experience and I'm really excited for that because I think it's going to just help us build the board game community so much more, invite more people to game, and have lots of different types of gaming experiences out there. There are games for everyone, we just have to find those games, share them, and continue creating more. How about you? Have you played Wingspan yet? Is it right for you? Or is it more right for some of your friends and family? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear if you're more of a consider yourself a hobby gamer or a more casual gamer and whether you liked Wingspan or not. Thank you guys for watching this quick review of Wingspan. I'm Callie at Callie's Corner here on Unfiltered Gamer. You can check us out at unfilteredgamer.com. You can join our Patreon community. That's where a lot of, that's where our funds for board game giveaways come from and we do giveaways on our website and on our live stream. So every Wednesday night at 6.30 PST, you can catch us on Facebook or Twitch and engage as we play different games and enter to win games. I hope to see you there. I hope also if you've watched all the way to the end of this video and you uh, are obviously engaged, please give me a like and consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, you really want to hit that notification bell because that's how you're actually going to be able to see the videos on your newsfeed. We do lots of different types of videos, doing Callie's Corner videos every week pretty much. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time.